Want to know how to add an outline around a photo in Canva to get that glow effect? Today, I'm going to be showing you how to do this quickly and easily. This video is part of my Canva over coffee series where I sit down with my cup of coffee or tea and I teach you how to create something really cool in Canva that you can then use on your blog, social media, your opt-in freebie to attract new email subscribers or on your digital products that you create and sell. If you missed any of my Canva over coffee tutorials, make sure to check out the playlist in the show notes below for all of the tutorials there. All right, let's get started. Let me share my screen with you. The glow tool that I'm showing you today is available on the free version of Canva, but if you want to put the glow behind a cutout like this, you will either first need to remove the background of a picture or kind of like I did here. You can see from my uploads, I took this from this picture and I had to get rid of the background. Removing the background in Canva is a pro version tool. So you can either go in and remove the background within Canva, which I do have a video to, I'll link above, or you will need to go to your uploads here and upload a picture that already has the background removed. Just upload something that looks like this. That then you could just drag in right here and be ready to put the outline behind. All right, once we have our picture in place without a background, we're going to click on the picture and up here will pop a menu. We're going to click on edit image. From there, you're going to see this side menu pop up and we are going to scroll all the way down to we get to shadows and click on the glow option. And what that does, we shrunk it a little bit here, but we can just grab a corner to make it bigger again. You can kind of see right now there is a slight shadow, like a black shadow around outline around myself here. What we're going to do is we're going to double click on this glow button and that's going to bring up this menu to change the size, the transparency and the blur as well as the color of this outline. So I think I'm going to change the color. Let's change it. We'll just change it to blue. So right now we can see it's very small. If we wanted to make that bigger, we would just drag this over to as big as we wanted it. And then transparency, we can make it as light or as solid as we want. So if we strung it all the way over here, it'd be like a dark blue line. But we can make it as light as we wanted. I think I'm gonna go somewhere in the middle, maybe about there. Now the blur can make it like a very solid line if you go all the way to the left. Or the more you take it to the right, the blurrier it gets and becomes more like a highlight around you. Again, for me, I'm going to choose something kind of in the middle here. And again, if you wanted here is where you can change the color. If I wanted to make it pink or any of my other brand colors, I could do that as well. Okay, then once you have the color you want, you'll just come down here to apply. And now it's here. Now, if you just want it to be like this without a background, you can just go over to share. And then from here, you can go to download and click PNG or JPEG or however you want this done. If you're doing an image, you'll probably want to choose a PNG. And then you'll be able to download it by clicking the purple download button. If you want to put a background behind it, what you could do is come over to elements. You could choose uh, some type of maybe just the square shape here, put that here, position it backwards. And now you have the blue behind it with your outline. We could even change this to be maybe a lighter color. If we click this plus sign, we could make it a little lighter. So our glow outline pops a little bit more. You could do that. You could also decide that you want to choose a different background. So we could just delete our current background, go to new background and choose any of these, you could do a gradient, you should put it like that. You could choose stripes. That doesn't really show our glow real well, but you get the idea. You could play around with this. I hope that tutorial was helpful to you. Hit the like button to let me know if it was. And if you are ready to create your first digital product, but you don't know where to start or your design challenge, I've got you covered. Check out the show notes below for information on my digital product blueprint course that teaches you how to validate, create, and deliver your digital products. And also check out my digital product power pack, which takes care of the design for you. You get all the templates for an ebook, a workbook, your freebies, a sales page, plus over 50 mock-up templates to promote your new product.
I hope you enjoyed today's Canva over coffee and I'll see you next time.